One of SpaceX's older rockets flew for the first time in two months, launching the first batch of Starlink satellites into orbit before making a splashy landing in the ocean to round out the successful mission. With a successful Falcon 9 launch from California, this rocket delivered 51 additional Starlink Internet spacecraft into orbit Monday evening and introduced new inter-satellite optical laser links to improve the way the network transmits broadband signals worldwide. Interesting, right? So today, we are talking about Starlink satellites. But before that, we welcome you all to our YouTube channel. Thank you for your love and support. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe to never miss a single update from the world of space. SpaceX launched a batch of operational Starlink satellites on one of its 229 foot tall, 70 meters workhorse Falcon 9 rocket from its California launch facilities. For the first time in over two months, SpaceX is launching its own satellite virtually weekly, breaking the regular rhythm that has been set earlier this year. Vandenberg Space Force Base launched the first dedicated Starlink mission with this launch. The successful Starlink mission frees up SpaceX's next Falcon 9 rocket, which is scheduled to blast out Monday night from Kennedy Space Center in Florida on the Inspiration4 crew mission with an all-citizen crew. The Falcon 9 rocket launched the satellites into orbit with a tilt nearly 70 degrees to the equator, launching a new orbital shell to advance the private internet network's reach and capacity. At 8.55.50 seconds PM PDT, the nine Merlin 1D engines on the Falcon 9 rocket ignited and the rocket lifted off from the Space Launch Complex 4 east at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Fueled by a jet, the Falcon 9 tore through the dense fog and soared into a starry sky over California's central coast, where it landed safely in the Pacific Ocean. At Vandenberg, the rocket proceeded going downhill into the south-southeast on a trajectory that was roughly parallel to the Southern California coast. About two and a half minutes later, after liftoff, the Falcon 9 ejected the rocket and shut down the first stage engines. To get to orbit, the second stage fired its lone Merlin engine for six minutes. Within a few seconds of the second stage explosion, the rocket's clamshell-like payload fairing exploded and fell into the Pacific. When the drone ship arrived at the port of Long Beach, the rocket was already on its way back to the factory for repairs and reassignment to another mission. About 15 minutes into the flight, the upper stage of the Falcon 9 rocket delivered the stack of flat panel satellites into a high altitude orbit. The launch took place over the Pacific Ocean, far from any ground station coverage. An altitude of 213 miles was the ultimate destination for the Starlink satellites, which were to be placed in an extended orbit 343 kilometers. The SpaceX-built satellites will use solar panels and activate Krypton-fueled plasma rockets to reach a 354-mile operational circular orbit once they are completed on an assembly line in Redmond, Washington. SpaceX's Starlink satellite network will get a boost with the addition of new satellites thanks to the launch on Monday. SpaceX has completed the fleet's first orbital shell after a series of dedicated launches from Florida over the course of two years, from May 2019 to May of this year. Last month, SpaceX President and Chief Operating Officer Gwyn Shotwell said, We've completed the first portion of our network, which essentially gets us to plus or minus 50 degrees, 53 degrees, 55 degrees latitude. Starting on Monday, the Starlink initiative will extend its reach to the poles. As Shotwell put it, we were expecting to do it a little bit sooner, but we're working on our laser communication terminals. The construction of a new inter-satellite laser terminal, which is to be installed on all future Starlink satellites, has been a top priority for SpaceX since May. A small number of laser cross links have been used to see if they work. There are costs associated with setting up the ground systems, and there are geographic and political restrictions on where they can be located. The Starlink satellites will use laser links to transmit internet data from spacecraft to spacecraft around the world, eliminating the requirement for a ground system attached to a terrestrial network to relay the signals. The new Starlink satellites represent a great leap forward in technological terms. 
It's not common for satellites to communicate directly with one another. Instead, radio frequency communications with a ground station are used to transmit communications between satellites. Through the use of laser links, the latency of the connection can be reduced. With the launch on Monday night, SpaceX has now 1,791 Starlink satellites in orbit, including failed and decommissioned satellites, making it the largest fleet ever launched into orbit. According to Jonathan McDowell, an astronomer and well-known observer of the spaceflight activity, SpaceX currently has 1,420 operational Starlink satellites, with more than 100 new ships moving into their operational places in orbit. The majority of the Starlink satellites launched, so far, have been placed into a 53-degree inclination orbit, with a 341-mile-high altitude, the first of five orbital shells the business intends to complete the full development of the Starlink network. The Starlink initiative is moving into a new phase as the shell nears having over 1,500 operational satellites. Due to the completion of the first Starlink shell, the network may now provide high-speed, low-latency internet services to areas at low altitudes such as the southern United States. The partial deployment of satellites into the first orbital shell initially provided service throughout the northern parts of the United States, Canada and Europe. However, the Federal Communications Commission has given SpaceX regulatory authority to launch 12,000 Starlink satellites. The company's initial goal is to use Falcon 9 rockets to launch 4,400 satellites. SpaceX's next-generation launcher, the Starship, is a massive rocket that may be used to launch hundreds of Starlink satellites at once. We're excited to keep improving the network by putting more capacity in space. And we're especially excited to link the 3 to 5% of the population, where fiber just doesn't make sense, Shotwell said. The company SpaceX is constructing a global internet network based on satellites. Launches for the Starlink network have been outpaced by those of SpaceX's competitors thus far in terms of speed. Since 2019, OneWeb, which is supported by the British government, has launched 288 tiny internet satellites. Compared to Starlink spacecraft, the OneWeb satellites, developed through a partnership with Airbus in Florida, travel at greater altitudes. Because of the difference in architecture, OneWeb's constellation of 648 satellites is able to produce global internet coverage, whereas Starlink's is far larger. Amazon is developing its own commercial satellite internet network, although it has yet to begin launching. Millions and billions of people have no decent internet connection, said Shotwell. This is a really big market. So, the number of organizations that are interested in doing this is not something that concerns me. When it comes to the space environment, I'm interested and concerned about their sustainability. A lot of competition in the industry. Eager to know what will happen next. With this, we have come to the end of our video. If you've loved this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more similar updates. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.